Oh god, where are we now? I'm not sure. A cellar of some kind. Things have gotten far worse than I could ever have imagined. My paranoia had driven me to the point where I was no longer the protector my wife and theoretical children needed. Jumping at every shadow, every noise, I ended up shooting the love of my life, mistaking her for the creature. It's ironic, isn't it? In my attempts to protect her, I ended up becoming the monster myself. Now I wait down in my cellar, no longer having anything to protect but my own soul. If nothing else, I will slay the beast that took everything from me. How's about we take his gun? Yeah, sounds good to me. Please don't come alive. Okay, I won't. Looks like we've got two shots. Let's make them count. Uh, yeah. Stay behind me. Just leave it to me. I can handle this. Well, that wasn't so bad. Which is what I would be saying if I didn't know that the creature was actually one of God's angels. What? And anyone who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where my soul resides. I apologize, dear listener, but I need a living host in order to escape the Hall of the Damned, and your bodies will be my only means of doing so. Now wait, how did he record this if he was in hell? I hope you're ready. Because the next breath you take down there will be your last, and your bodies will belong to me. Let go of me! <laughs> I hate this stupid adventure! Mmm, good tea. Sorry again about your husband killing you and everything. Oh, you know how men are. Always having the silliest priorities. <laughs> Don't I know it. <laughs> if your friends see him, I only hope he doesn't bore them to death with his endless monologues. That man could turn a 